Before this video starts, I want to quickly say that myself and Kingwin are doing another big giveaway. It's free to enter, all you have to do is click on the link underneath this video and follow the instructions. Good luck. Hey guys, what's up and I welcome you all to a new Digino episode. I decided to change it up once again for this series and go over another theory. Especially since most of you seem to be enjoying the theory videos. For this one we'll be focusing on a new topic. We will be talking about who the true killer is of the elder that Yasuo is accused of killing. And huge props do go out to Dial Mark for thinking up this theory. I'll link his original thread underneath this video in the description if you want to read it for yourself. There are going to be several propositions, but one of the main ones is going to be Riven. And the reason for this is because Yasuo has several specific quotes to Riven questioning her style. And I mean, there's got to be a reason as to why Ride implemented this within Yasuo's quotes. So before we get into the meat of the theories, there's a lot of information we have to go over so that everything at the end makes sense. So let's start it off from the very beginning. What exactly happened in Yasuo's lore and what is this accusation of him killing an elder? Well as I'm sure most of you are aware, Yasuo's title, The Unforgiven, is given to him for a reason. So here's what happened. A Noxus invasion posed a great threat to Yasuo, his elder and everyone else from their school and town. And during this battle, Yasuo was tasked with the protection of the elder. However, Yasuo Yasuo thought that if he was not in the middle of the fight helping out his kind, that his skills will be put to waste. So he left his post of protecting the Elder to try and assist his comrades. But as he made his return, the Elder was slain. Yasuo was accused of the assassination of the Elder, and he was ready to turn himself in and accept the punishment, but he then realized that the true assassin would simply go unpunished. And Yasuo is the only person that knows the truth. He is not the one that killed him. So he raised his sword against his own school to make an escape in order to find justice. And after wandering around for such a long time and killing enemies that used to be allies, Yasuo met face to face with his older brother who he also had to strike down. But his brother's dying words were, The elder was killed by a wind technique. Who else could it be? And this gave Yasuo the exact knowledge that he needed to know. The killer was someone that could also use wind techniques. But what makes this interesting and confusing is the fact that Yasuo was the only student in a generation to master the legendary wind technique. So who else could it have been? So again, Riven is the first one that comes to mind. I mean, Riven was born in Noxus, and she apparently can use wind type abilities, hence her ultimate wind slash. And Yasuo has specific quotes to Riven when he taunts her or whenever she uses her abilities in front of him. Which way's more, Riven? Your blade or your past? Wait. That technique. Huh. Another wind blade. Who taught you that? So this is all very interesting, but the question still lies. Is he saying all these quotes to her because he's suspicious or he's just curious? But going a bit more into Yasuo's past, in Yon's eyes, Yon being his older brother, Yasuo was a sword without a sheet. He mentions that it's easy to teach a swordsman how to kill, but difficult to teach him not to do so. As Yasuo's skills began to grow, so did his ego, and in Yon's words, he was impetuous and boastful. He ignored our master's lessons and knew nothing of patience. And this is what led up to Yasuo leaving his post thinking that he can change the battle a lot more than he probably could have, which resulted in the elder's death. So the main things we learned here was 1. Yasuo is not the killer, 2. We know that the Elder died during the Noxian invasion on Ionia, and 3. The killer used some sort of wind technique, one that only Yasuo supposedly knows in this generation. Now let's move away from Yasuo's past for a bit, and since Riven is the main culprit that we assume killed the Elder, let us talk about her past and lore just a bit as well. So Riven's lore is awfully similar in concept to Yasuo's. Both are now exiles who betrayed their own people in order to fight for a greater ideal. So Riven's lore just talks about how she has trained so hard ever since she was a young age, forcing herself to wield swords that were bigger and heavier than herself. But one part of her lore seems awfully interesting. Riven became a leader amongst her peers, poster child of the Noxian spirit. So exceptional was her passion that the High Command recognized her with a black stone rune sword forged and enchanted with Noxian sorcery. Make special note of that last sentence because we will bring it up later. It then mentions how soon after she was deployed to Ionia as part of a Noxian invasion. Now isn't that interesting and somewhat coincidental, since the Elder did die during a Noxian invasion and Riven, being the proposed culprit, was on the Noxian side of their invasion. But anyway, carrying on with her lore, Riven quickly saw the true ruthlessness of the Noxian forces. And this wasn't the type of combat that she trained for. This was already a bad start for Riven. But during a later engagement, Riven's unit became surrounded by Ionian forces, and as they called for support, Instead of getting actual support, what instead they received 
was a barrage of biochemical terror launched by Singe. And thanks to Singe's poison, Riven watched both Ionian and Noxian forces fall victim. Riven was the only one to survive, and since she was counted dead by Noxus, she saw the opportunity to start anew. And her breaking her sword was a way of her severing the ties with the past, now looking for atonement. Now a huge problem with the lords between Riven and Yasuo, and in terms of having a connection, is the fact that the Noxian invasion that Riven took a part of, probably was not the same one that Yasuo and his people defended. Since Riven seemed to be more in an open type of battlefield, not in a small town, which is where Yasuo's school was. But regardless, let's go into the potential killers of the Elder, and the first one we'll talk about is gonna be Riven. So in a quick fashion, it actually does not seem like Riven was the killer, despite the few connections. I mean, yeah, Riven is able to do wind type abilities, for instance, her ultimate wind slash. But Yasuo's older brother Yon said the Elder was killed by a wind technique, not wind magic. And the sword was imbued with magical properties. So with that being said, and taking the descriptions of the two different battles that took place into account, it does not seem like Riven is the killer. But there's still a lot more to talk about. For instance, what other champion that we know in League of Legends uses wind type abilities? Janna. I mean, Janna is the avatar of air, and she can definitely use wind as a weapon. But this one does seem like sort of a stretch, because we can also argue that Janna uses wind magic, not a wind technique. And what reasons would Janna have to kill an Ionian elder? And why would she go all the way from Piltover to Ionia just to kill some guy for some random reason? I mean, the main battle is happening between Ionia and Noxus, not Piltover and Ionia. So I think we can safely rule out Janna. But how about someone that we simply are not aware of? What if the person using the wind technique is a champion that is simply just not introduced yet? I mean, this really does make a lot of sense. Ride is known to teach champions through other champions' lore or artwork, pictures, etc. In fact, they already have done the exact same thing with Trinimir and Aatrox. Since Trinimir's lore did say a dark mysterious figure, which now we know to be Aatrox. So Riot Games could be doing the exact same thing here. And this mysterious new champion must have learned his wind techniques in a different generation because remember, Yasuo was the only one to learn it in this generation. Maybe the victim is actually Ao Shin from a previous generation and something happened to form him into a dragon. Who knows? And the reason that this mysterious culprit had to kill the Elder could be quite honestly endless. But with all of this being said, there's still a few things we can talk about in terms of whether or not Riven was the killer. Or at least if it is related to her. So we have talked about many reasons as to why Riven probably actually did not commit the crime. But have you noticed that nowhere in her lore does it say that Riven is a master of the wind technique? I mean, definitely not in the same way that Yasuo is. But what we do know is that her sword is able to use wind power. Her sword, not Riven. So do you guys remember that one line I told you to remember earlier? Well, let's revisit it. The High Command recognized her with a Blackstone rune sword forged and enchanted with Noxie and sorcery. It doesn't say anywhere that Riven was the only one that achieved this honor of having this amazing Noxie and sorcery enchanted with her weapon. How do we know Noxus did not enchant someone else's weapon or maybe even their whole body with this sorcery? But who exactly gave her this weapon with this enchantment on it? The High Command. But who is the High Command? Isn't Swain the leader of the High Command? I mean, in his lore, it does say that he leaped through the High Command's hierarchy, and Swain is a master over sorcery, and he's also a member of the Black Rose, a sort of dark and underground group that is led by LeBlanc, and we know how mischievous she can be. And the Black Rose was also behind the resurrection of the new Scion, and if you've seen my LeBlanc and J4 theory video, you know that Swain has worked in the past with the Black Rose. So suddenly, this all seems very, very interesting. But again, nothing is confirmed, it is all just a theory. Maybe the Black Rose and Swain are planning to do a second invasion of Ionia, maybe take over Ionia, maybe have LeBlanc now pose as the Elder instead, much like she did with Jarvan. There are so many potential reasons, but this is going to be left in a very open-ended discussion because I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think it was actually Riven? Maybe it was Janna? Maybe it was a champion that we're simply not aware of yet and Riot is just teasing us? Or it was this final conspiracy by Swain and the Black Rose? Tell me down in the comments what you guys think, I love having these kind of discussions they're so damn interesting. But that unfortunately is it for this video guys. If you did enjoy it, share it with your friends, throw in a like as well. Definitely check out my other theory videos and the Did you know series in general, and on top of that my other videos as well. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this one, learned something new, found it fascinating and interesting, and I really hope to see you for the next video. Peace.